Set in a bamboo forest in the mountains, two apprentice brothers named Sung Jun and Jin Su were training to prepare themselves to achieve the title of Grand Master of Taebaekwon. After a short training, the two met their teacher, Master Lee, who told them about three famous martial arts schools that lived peacefully side by side in the country. One of them was Taebaekwon, which focused on the center of the human body's meridians. If they master the technique, not only they could block attacks from opponents, but also attack them simultaneously with delicate movements. For more than 20 years, the two lived in the mountains to train, and they had surpassed the abilities of other students, as they were worthy of the title of Grandmaster. But following the rules, it would only be one person to get the title, and Master Lee asked them to prepare themselves for the fight the next day. In the evening, when Jin Su was meditating in his room, Song Jun suddenly came into his room. He didn't expect that the day of the fight would soon arrive. He asked to sleep there with Jin Su. Jin Su was very surprised to hear that. Even though they often slept together in the past, for some reason that night he didn't want to as it felt strange to him. He then asked Sung Jun to immediately get out of his room, but Sung Jun insisted on staying there. The next day, when Sung Jun woke up from his sleep, he was surprised to find that Jin Su was no longer in his room. He had left a letter saying that Sung Jun was clearly better and more worthy than himself to become the Grand Master, so he chose to leave to explore the world. Seven years had passed. Sung Jun had lived in the city and had a beautiful wife named Bo Mi. He also opened a massage place with the skills he had. However, he often provided free fees for people who needed his treatment, especially for elderly and poor people, which of course his kindness often made his wife angry. She always mentioned about bills they had to pay, they needed money so they could raise their son, Minho. When Bomi returned from the market that day, she accidentally saw a long queue at a massage place. She asked a woman who was seen queuing there. The woman said that the massage place was very famous for weight loss and they had discounts for new customers. Upon hearing this, Bomi came up with an idea. She gave the woman her business card and said that her place also had a program for quick weight loss and of course her place was the best. When she got home, Bomi asked her husband if he knew about Meridian Points to lose weight quickly because she had a good business idea to make them rich quickly. Sung Jun was too lazy to answer his wife's question however because she kept asking, he finally said that there were indeed several points that could help to lose weight, but they only suppressed the hunger, and they didn't work 100% to reduce weight directly. Upon hearing that, she immediately asked her husband to prepare because soon, there would be many customers coming to their place. Somewhere else, a leader of an organization called Tape Yong Group named Jong Ho was ordering his lackey, Da Ho, to scare all the residents in the city so that they could immediately leave or sell their property at a low price so they could start a big project of the city's redevelopment. He asked Da Ho to immediately complete the task so he could meet his family. It was revealed that Da Ho came from North Korea and his family was kidnapped by Jong Ho so he could use Da Ho to do work for him. That day, the woman Bo Mi met earlier was at her massage place. She had high expectations that the treatment would last a long time, and it was very enjoyable. However, what Sung Jun did was just poke one point of her body, which of course made her complain to Bo Mi because she didn't feel anything. Bo Mi realized that her husband was messing around, so she said that this was just the beginning to find out the condition of her body, and asked the woman to sit down and wait for the second session. She then offered the woman special herbal tea for weight loss, and then asked her husband to be serious about doing his work or else there wouldn't be any more customers coming to the place. Sung Jun said that he had done everything by massaging the most important parts of the woman's body to reduce hunger and prevent constipation. But Bomi didn't seem to care about all his explanations. She asked her husband to provide the best service to the customers so they could attract more people to come to their place. Somewhere else, Da Ho had beaten dozens of thugs who were guarding the area. These people were a group of thugs assigned by the opposition the Hyogun group, to maintain the security of the big project in the city. After killing them, Da Ho advised them to leave the place within two weeks because Tape Yong would take over the project. At a kindergarten, Min Ho was being bullied by the other children. The bully kept mocking him by saying that Min Ho's father was a fake doctor and that what he did was illegal. Hearing that made Min Ho upset, so he chose to hit the bully in the face. That incident led to the bully's father coming to Sung Jun's place and asking him to apologize and compensate for his kid's treatment. He kept intimidating Sung Jun because he looked weak. Sung Jun could have defeated him easily, but he preferred to respond to the man's actions without hurting him. Bomi was very shocked by what her husband had done and apologized for what her husband and her son had done. At a fast food restaurant, 
a TV reporter named He Won was talking to a TV producer on the telephone. She looked a little annoyed because the producer arbitrarily changed their program. She then accidentally overheard a conversation between two women who were talking about the diet they were on. One of them said that since she had a massage, her appetite had decreased, which helped her a lot with the diet program she was currently on. Hearing this, of course, made He Won very interested in visiting the massage house to look for writing material. Meanwhile, Bo Mi received a telephone call from debt collectors. They gave a final warning to her to immediately pay off her debt at the end of the month, or they would take all the things in her house. Of course, threats like that made her very scared, especially since Sung Jun didn't know anything about the debt. Not long after that, He Won came to the massage place and then gave Bo Mi her business card while saying that she wanted to cover her massage place. That evening, Bo Mi told her husband that a reporter from a famous reality show had come to their place and wanted to cover their business if they accepted her offer. Bomi thought that if their massage place was covered on television, it would make their business more famous and grow, but Sung Jun refused. He felt strange to appear in front of the camera. Hearing that clearly made Bomi very annoyed. She then threatened to leave him if he refused. The next day, when Bomi was serving the customers, two police officers arrived there to check the place because they got a report about the place being an illegal business. The police said that their business permit had expired and they were required to extend the permit first. Bomi suspected that the arrival of these two police officers was thanks to competitors' actions, who were not happy that her business was growing. Along with many other events that befell her massage place, Bomi stressed that she no longer got any income from her business. She was also chased by debt collectors, and the loan shark's lackeys were in her house to collect her debt. Sung Jun, who received a call that his wife was in danger, immediately went home. He then asked his wife who the two men were and Bomi said that they were debt collectors that she owed money from because in the past, she was forced to go into debt to open the place. Sung Jun could not believe what his wife had done, and even though he was angry with her, he would still try to pay off the debt. But he didn't expect that the debt would be 3 million yuan including interest and late fees. One of the men said that if they didn't pay off their debt immediately, his boss would soon come to school to pick up their son. Hearing that of course made them both gravely worried and Sung Jun was forced to use his skill to paralyze the men. Moon and Park who had woken up from fainting chose to run away from there. They then told what had happened to their boss who had also arrived there. The boss then said that he would come by himself to collect the debt next week when their shop reopened. Bo Mi contacted He Won to apologize because her shop had been closed before they could do the interview and asked her to reschedule their next meeting but He Won didn't seem interested in covering her massage place anymore. Later, Bo Mi complained to Sung Jun that she felt pain all over her back and asked him to massage her. Sung Jun immediately used his ability by pressing points to cure the back pain, but what he did to her back actually made her breasts bigger. She then asked her husband what he had done to her back and Sung Jun said that he only fixed the blood flow in her upper back to cure the pain, but the effects somehow changed her breast size. Hearing her husband's explanation gave her an idea. She then called He Won and said that her massage place could make her breasts bigger. Upon hearing that, He Won was very surprised and decided to make an appointment with her to cover the place. When He Won arrived, she immediately installed several hidden cameras in there. She would also try the massage herself, but when Sun Jun used his ability to massage her, she realized that the technique used was not an ordinary technique for treating illnesses because the speed of his hands and the points he touched were nothing like a common therapist would do. Meanwhile, Da Ho came to Jong Ho to collect his promise to free his family after he scared off the Hyogun construction group. Jong Ho said that his work was not finished yet and asked him to keep working for him or he would send his family back to North Korea. He asked Daho to get the signatures or the stamps of some tenants of the city. And if he had done all that, then his task would be done too. Moon and Park returned to Bomi's shop to collect the debt. They dared to mess up the place because their boss would come there to sort out the problem. But what they didn't expect was that it turned out that their boss was Jin Su, Sung Jun's apprentice brother. Of course, this unexpected meeting made them excited. They haven't seen each other for seven years since Jin Su decided to leave. Sung Jun didn't expect Jin Su to be a lone shark. Jin Su explained that he had spent most of his life in the mountains, making it difficult for him the moment he set foot in the city. He then saw the opportunity that many people needed money. Therefore, little by little, he collected money until he became a lone shark. Jin Su didn't think that Sung Jun's wife was one of the people who owed him. 
He told Sung Joon not to think about the debt because it was impossible for him to collect money from his fellow wife. Jin Su asked why he came to the city and opened a massage house instead of staying in the mountains and becoming the Grand Master of Taebaekwon. Sung Joon said that when Jin Su left, he decided to go down the mountain to look for him, even though Master Lee had tried to stop him, but what he didn't expect was that the world was so big. He was very confused about where to look first until he met Bo Mi, who became his wife. He helped her when he was drunk and was being harassed by two men who were trying to take her wallet. Since that first meeting, the love relationship between them was established and they decided to get married. After getting married, Sung Jun thought that he couldn't possibly go back to the mountains with her, so he decided to stay and use his skills to help people. But he never revealed his true identity to his wife and asked Jin Su to keep that a secret too. Later, when Bomi was in the shop, an old who turned out to be Master Lee came. Of course, his visit made Sung Jun very surprised. He invited his teacher to the balcony of the house to talk. Master Lee said that his purpose in coming was not only to see him, but to tell him that he had received a message from the Grand Master of Gam Gung that the Grand Master of Paek Tu Kwan had escaped from North Korea and the only person who could stop him was Sung Jun. Master Lee was also very disappointed with Sung Jun because he insisted on leaving the mountains to look for Jin Su. He hoped that his ability was still as sharp as before because the only person who deserved to hold the title of Grand Master of Taebaek Won was him. That night, Sung Joon told Jin Su about his meeting with Master Lee and the escape of the Grand Master of Paek Tu Kwan from North Korea. He told Master Lee that he would not be able to return to the life he had before because he had a wife and son. Jin Su finally explained the real reason he decided to leave seven years ago was because he realized that only Sung Joon was able to face the Grand Master of Paek Tu Kwan. On the other hand, Da Ho was seen forcing several people to sign an agreement so that their property would be sold at a low price to the Tape Yong group. The next day, the property owners in the city were stirred up by an announcement explaining that their property must be immediately sold to the Tape Yong group, but what made them unable to accept it was that the compensation costs they would receive were below the market price. They would not remain silent, therefore they would fight and agree to make Bo Mi, who happened to be there, the leader of the resistance against the Tape Yong group. Sometime later, Bo Mi led the demonstration in the streets to reject reconstruction development in the city. Zhang Ho, who accidentally passed by there, was very upset and vented all his anger at Da Ho because he was considered incompetent to take care of the problem. He threatened to kill Da Ho's family if he didn't resolve the problem with Bo Mi and her rebel group. Jin Su met Bo Mi to give him some gifts as an apology due to the actions of his lackeys. They then had some drinks there while chatting. When they ran out of wine, Sung Joon took the initiative to buy more because he didn't want their gathering to end. But after he left, Da Ho came and then grabbed Bo Mi's neck. Seeing his brother's wife being treated like that made Jin Su mad, but it seemed like he was no match for Da Ho. Sung Joon soon arrived and tried to save Jin Su. Jin Su said that the man in front of him was there to finish off Bo Mi because she and several tenants were opposing Tape Yong. Years of not practicing have made Sung Joon's martial arts skills worsen, making him helpless in front of Da Ho. Da Ho even intended to finish him off until Min Ho's cries stopped him. He decided to leave there and would immediately return to claim his shop the next day. The next day, Da Ho told Zhang Ho that Sung Joon hadn't signed to sell his property, but he disappeared from his house after they fought last night. Obviously, Zhang Ho became furious upon hearing that. He immediately asked his men to look for Sung Joon's whereabouts. At the same time, Bo Mi looked worried about her husband. But Jin Su said that she didn't need to worry because Sung Joon would be back soon. Before he left, Sung Joon had told Jin Su that he would be leaving for a while to the mountains and promised to return soon. Meanwhile, Sung Joon met Master Lee to ask him to teach him the secret techniques of Taebaekwon he might not have mastered. But Master Lee instead told him to leave because he had taught him all the techniques. Days after Sung Johan still kneeled in front of his teacher's room, until one morning, Master Lee finally asked him to come into his room. Master Lee said that there was nothing else he could teach him. The spirit of the Grand Master was already in his body, but if the essence was not completely absorbed, Sung Jun would never be able to become one true master. He had to inspire himself and discover the hidden secret of the Taebaek One. All of that he had to go through all by himself. Zhang Ho was visited by the government people who had hired him to solve the problems in the city. The man was grateful because Zhang Ho had made it easy for him to finish the project. 
He promised to put him in a good position and a lot of bonuses if everything was done right without anyone else knowing he was involved. When the man left the place, from a distance, he one seemed to have realized that the project was scandalous and she had found out the root of the problem. Days passed and Sung Jun was finally able to find the essence contained in the knowledge she had learned. He apologized for his stubborn attitude for choosing to leave before. Master Lee realized the selfishness of young Sung Jun and forgave him, but before he left, Master Lee wanted to introduce him to the Grand Master of Gum Gang, who turned out to be He Won. He Won gave Sung Jun information that the Grand Master of Paik Tu Kwan Da Ho was in the city. He fled from North Korea with his family after being considered a traitor to the country. But when they arrived in South Korea, his family was kidnapped by the boss of the Tape Yong Group, who received an order from someone in the government to clean up the mess in the city and forced Daho to force the city property owners and tenants to sign forms for the city revitalization development plan. He one asked Sung Jun to intervene in this matter because he was the only person who could stop Daho. In short, Sung Jun went to the Tape Yong Group headquarters to look for the whereabouts of Daho, but the thugs he met didn't care about what he said and instead tried to kill him. After successfully eliminating dozens of Jong Ho's men, Sung Jun finally met Daho who was waiting for him there. The fierce fight between the two of them started. Sung Jun managed to hit Da Ho's most sensitive meridian points while receiving several hits. Da Ho finally fell to the ground. Sung Jun explained that the points he pressed on Da Ho's body helped channel the energy to make him stronger. But if he released too much energy, his blood vessels would burst. Sung Jun apologized because he was forced to do that. He said that it would recover soon. When Sung Jun was about to leave, Zhang Ho suddenly stabbed him from behind and intended to take the stamp that Sung Jun was carrying, but Da Ho immediately got up and then hit Zhang Ho until he fainted. After that, Sung Jun told Da Ho not to worry about his family's condition because the Grand Master of Gem Gung He Won was on her way to save them. In the end, Sung Jun's massage business became increasingly popular with women who wanted to lose weight or enlarge their breasts. Jin Su and his men were also helping Bo Mi to manage the place. On the television was seen the news that the redevelopment of the city was confirmed to be stopped because it was proven that there was bribery in the project by the government and he won received an award for having the courage to reveal this case and uncovering crimes committed by the Tape Yong Group.